So it, let's go on your back first. So after what we do is the straight leg raises and the SLRs and stuff like that. So let's lay on your back. Um, the first thing we'll do is what we just did uh, with Jonathan. We'll kind of palpate the joints on the SI. Um, as he said before, we want to be really, really nice and, and gentle. I like to use my thin R area, so the padded area, and I'll kind of come to you. You don't want to be pushing like this. I already feel like you're left, the right side. So, and then what I like to do at the end is after I kind of like, you know, I guess you say jostle back and forth just to get a feel, I'll add a what they call a bilateral thrust. I'll just kind of like say, hey, we're pushing a little bit. And I'm just gonna go a couple times. You're really just kind of irritating those SI joints there. If I'm already here, I'll kind of come in, I'll just kind of push on the femur, see where the femur is. This one moves a little bit better, this one does not. So, so you can definitely tell that this femur does not uh, move as much. In this case, uh, what I'll do here is I'll check the, the hip joint. I'll give like a little bit of a vertical thrust going down, see if there's anything going on in the hip. Uh, but going into the SI joint here, I'll take my hand, I'll place it on her uh, I'm gonna roll this way, and I'll come in, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of a thrust, like four, five, six times. And what that does, that actually pushes the finger down, it pushes the SI over, and then what that, my hand does, it creates a full throw for that SI joint, to become more sheared. Does that make sense? So really what we're doing is we're dropping through this joint, and by lifting this pelvis up, we're creating more of a drop in that SI joint, and that can create the irritation. So while I'm here, I like to do whatever I do on the right or the left, I like to do it both sides. So I'll come in, if we're okay. I'll place my hand under your sacrum, I'll come in. And I'll do like four, five, six thrusts there. No problem, let's have her go onto her side. So, yep, it doesn't matter. So, and then I'll do the same thing I just did on the side. Any anything there? I'll just, and then do the other side. So usually the first two or three is more just like kind of pushing. The second two or three or four is more of a you can feel a little bit more there. Yeah. A little bit more force. And it's really kind of going right through the hip and the SI joint, and it'll go out to the back. Um, in this case, we would have probably already observed them standing. We would have observed, you know, observed like a Jalais test or watch them walk, uh, have them point to the pink. This is a, a great time where you can say, hey, do you feel it here? Do you feel it here? Where do you feel the pain in that position? Um, I'm gonna try to be very specific with just SI, not necessarily doing other things, uh, because today I think what we'll be able to do is go through everything uh, and, and show you my flow. Does that bother you? Okay, so that's where we'll go. Sometimes I'll have her go back onto her back, but let's go into your back. Um, what I'll do is I'll have you slide off to the side. This is called a Gaines lens test. I think it's called Lewis Gaines. You'll hug your knee to your chest. Hold that there. I'll lift this leg up and I'll bring it back down and I'll come in here. Almost like a um, like a Thomas test. Or what I'm gonna do is giving a little bit extra and that's shearing that SI joint there. That's it. Let's do the other side. So if you notice that this way she comes off a little bit off the side of the table, that's what we want. So that this way we can get that shearing of that SI joint. Yeah, so they'll probably say I have a little back pain or something like that. Can we go into your belly? So that, those series of tests, um, they're, they're considered all different tests, but they call them a cluster of tests. They call them, I believe it's called Laslitz cluster. So you have like, you know, essentially compression from the front, compression from the side, compression from the back, uh, Lewis Gainsland's test that we just did, and kind of just some of those shearing tests of, of that femur and that hip. Uh, and what you're doing is that's called Laslitz cluster. So it's a really good specific test for SI joint pain in this position. And I'll, I'll do the same thing from the back and just kind of push on both sides just to see where we're at in terms of um, 
this one, but her right femur was a little bit, or the left hip didn't seem to, or the SI did, or pelvis didn't seem to, to move as much. In this case, here we'll, we'll go heel to butt. We're really looking for uh, major deviation. People doing, uh, doing this, uh, I'll do, still larger, like a kind of like a, we call it yeoman's. So I'm applying downward pressure going while I'm pulling up. That's a good way to do it. If you, if the person's, I guess you'd say leg is heavy, we can kind of do this. If they're light enough, you can kind of do that. Try not to get too much of your low back in there. We'll try to like be isolated. Uh, we could do heel to butt, heel to opposite butt. We could do bilateral heel to butt. Those don't always give the most information there, but they, they still, you, you're already here in Muslim, right? Hey, look, look at how fast this takes. That's it. You should definitely move a little better through that side. Uh, you seem like you were a little bit more restricted and actually uh, helping me too much, maybe. I don't know, for whatever reason. So, um, and then we can do a prone hip extension test in this position. That can give us overall, this more of a functional test. I like to show that one. Um, so what we'll do is I want you to keep this leg nice and straight and just lift your leg up into the air. Yep. So I'll have her do that three or four times, come back down, and then I'll feel, go ahead again. You should feel, come back down, one, two, three, four. And so I'll actually look for the first two times, I'll look like right here, and I'm seeing, does this contract, does this contract, does this contract, then this in that order. Uh, that's what I want to see. And then from there, what we'll do is we'll just try to see what, what actually works. So I'll have her do it two or three times. Good, come back down. And then I'll, I actually won't look a couple times just to see if I can feel it. Good, and again. So you, if you notice, my hand is nice and broad so I can feel what part is first, not, not like going like this. So same thing on this side. Good, she def definitely does not go up as high on this side. So you're thinking, is there something in the front of the hip causing this issue? Is there a movement dysfunction in the back? Is the glute not strong enough? Probably not on her. Is this more of a mobility issue? Is something not extending from the spine? We don't know, it's just a great screening, but you can definitely document this and say, hey, can you, and like, you can use this as a retest. So go ahead, go up again. Do the, now do this one. Look how much better of a glute contraction she has. Hamstring, it's nice and straight. Come back down and do the other side. Come back up and do this one. So this is a great way to test. So see how like stable she is in the spine here? And now do the other one. Watch how she really rotates. So she really recruits up here a little bit more. And she has to dip a little bit harder in order to get that. So uh, what I would do is just as a, as a like for something for fun, I'd say, hey, let's do some mobilizations. Let's have her relax. So I think she was just trying to work a little harder to get that range. Maybe there's something going on in the SI joint here. Do you have any issues here? Um, it was just like really sensitive right next here. So maybe there's some gluteal nerve irritation, uh, like maybe some external rotation. Like this, is, this stuff like right here just fixes a lot of things. So you'll see a lot of us practitioners and probably even yourself just doing this is a really easy way just to get some, to clean up that joint. You have some like right there. So right off the SI joint. And then, uh, so now we would retest that real quickly. So let's do this side. See that, how that does, now do the other side. So a little bit better. Still think there could be some more work to be done. So maybe we'll hit this OS. So those are the SI joint tests. Um, let's. Let's practice them, and then I'll probably be able to show you a full workflow today of what it would look like in about 10 or 15 minutes uh, of an exam. All right, so go ahead for it.